All right, so today I am going to be going over the FIT principle uh, in regards to physical education. So the FIT principle, there are four uh, letters in FIT, F-I-T-T, -T, and it's it's like an abbreviation. Each letter stands for something. So as you can see on this first screen, uh, the uh, F stands for frequency. Uh, the I stands for intensity. The T stands for time. And the other T stands for type. So we're going to go over uh, this PowerPoint. There's four things in here. Uh, and we will describe what each of these mean. You may already know, you may not know, but we are gonna go into further detail of what exactly the FIT principle is all about. So with frequency, it, that is how often you are physically active, like how often you are per performing physical activity. Okay, so the more workouts over a week, uh, the stronger you're gonna get in your targeted health-related fitness area, okay? so. If you only work out once a week, you're not frequently working out. So you're the free, you're only doing one a week. It's not very frequent. If you're doing five or more, so seven, five, six, seven days, you are frequently working out. You're frequently being active. Okay. So an example of a random workout would be three sets of ten push-ups. 10 sit-ups and 10 squats. So you do 10 of each of those for one set, and then you do another set of 10 for each of those, and then you do a third set. So you would do three sets of that. That would So frequency is just how often you're performing it, uh, like throughout the week. Okay, for our next one, we have the intensity, okay, the I. So intensity is how hard a person exercises during a physical activity, period. Okay, measuring intensity can be done with a heart rate monitor during aerobic activity. Okay, so intensity. Some things are, you know, and you can relate this to walking, jogging, and running. Okay, walking is very low intensity. Jogging, it's medium. You can do it for a, a walking, you can definitely do it for a long period of time. Jogging, you can do for a long period of time, but eventually you might get tired, okay? If you are sprinting or running, okay, that is a high intensity, you know, type of workout, okay, where you're not going to be able to do that for a long period of time, okay? So some different intensity uh, related workout, uh, so burpees, 10 burpees, those can be like medium, you know, intensity. Five wind sprints, okay, would that be high, medium, or low? Wind sprints, if you're sprinting, that's, that's a high intensity type of thing, okay? So there's an example of intensity. Our next one is time, okay? Time, you guys know what time is by now. Time is just the duration of the physical activity, okay? How long you are doing it, okay? Whether if you're working out for 20 minutes, you know, 20 minute workout. If you're working out for two hours, okay? You're working out for 120 minutes. Okay. Now, when you are working out, you are supposed to work out or be active 60 minutes every day. Okay. So, uh, so different, you know, a workout for time. So right there in, in that, on the bottom, you see a five minute jog. Okay. You, that is a, that is a workout that you could successfully complete because that is a medium type of, uh, intensity, uh, activity okay and the last one is the type okay the type of uh workout you are completing okay so type of specific physical activity okay you're just going to pick based on an area of improvement okay so uh when you're working on cardiovascular endurance okay that's you know where you're going to be running where you're biking, swimming, okay? Those are different cardiovascular exercises, okay? If you're working on improving your strength, okay, whether it's upper body or lower body, okay? Some examples of that, okay, would be push-ups, uh, triceps, dips, crunches, okay? Those would be some things that you could do to improve in your strength, okay? And if you're not very flexible, 
Okay, one of the things that you can do, you can eventually get yourself to be more flexible. Okay, you just have to stretch more. You have to do different activities like maybe yoga, which improve your flexibility. Okay, you have to hold those uh, stretches for a certain amount of time in order to, you know, make sure that your body is becoming more flexible. Okay, so there's some examples of uh, different flexibility, uh, types of flexibility uh, things right there. So those are uh, things that are involved with the type of exercise. So that is the fit principle. You have frequency, intensity, type, and time. Okay, so uh, when you're doing things or thinking about you know doing things uh, activity-wise, think of what exactly, how all that goes in, like basketball. Can you frequently do it? Yeah. Is the intensity high, medium, low? It can be a little bit of, of both. Can you play it for a long period of time? Yeah. Okay, and then obviously it is uh, cardiovascular because you would be running, okay? You're gonna be using some uh, muscular strength as well uh, with uh, shooting and jumping and you know using your arms and legs, okay? And then you have all the different like workout types of things where those were listed on there where you're doing push-ups or jogging or walking or sprinting or doing burpees, okay? Those are different types of things and those exercises go into those different categories. So that is the FIT principle. Hopefully you understand everything and the four letters of the FIT principle. Have a good day.